Hello everyone, I'm Yuliani. Welcome to my Linguistics for Dumb Me series where I'll be explaining linguistic topics in a simple and fun way because of my slow processing brain. In this video, I'll be introducing you to Pragmatics, the study of human interactions. People don't always say what they mean or mean what they say. Huh? You see, Sometimes we say something to mean something else. Like this, when I teach your class at 1 p.m. and then one of your friends comes into the class at 2 and I say, Bravo! It doesn't mean that I compliment him, but I'm being sarcastic. The class will know that I actually tell him off for being late. In real-life interactions, we don't usually interpret what people say literally. We often look at the circumstances preceding and following the utterance. The circumstances are called context. Pragmatics talks about meaning in interactions influenced greatly by context. Pragmatics, according to Yule, is the study of speaker meaning, the study of contextual meaning, the study of how more gets communicated than is said, and the study of the expression of relative distance. The study of speaker meaning is that the words, phrases, and expressions don't stand by themselves. Instead, they depend on the speaker's intention, which is closely related to context. Therefore, in order to understand the message a speaker tries to deliver, we need to look at the contextual meaning from an utterance. Sometimes, a speaker doesn't have to say a lot of words to get his message delivered. For example, when I'm talking in front of the class and you ask my permission to go to the toilet, I can simply say, hmm, which means I allow you. I don't have to answer it with, yes, you may go to the toilet. That is how more gets communicated than is said means. The way I allow you to go to the toilet can happen because I am your lecturer, which technically, I'm more powerful than you as student. That's why I can simply say, hmm. Not to mention, I am talking in front of the class and you interfere. So, I don't want to waste my time answering and go back to talking immediately. If you, as student, answer me, your lecturer, with hmm, what do you think will happen? <laughs> you might be asking why you need to study pragmatics. Well, first, as a linguistic student, Pragmatics is one subject that you need in order to graduate and earn a degree. Duh! Pragmatics can help us build social relationships with other people. Pragmatics plays a role in avoiding miscommunication or misunderstanding caused by cultural difference. Pragmatics is also useful to make interactions brief but still relevant. Pragmatics can guide us to interpret ambiguous utterances by relating it to the context. There are many times when we interpret what people say in different points of view, right? That's when pragmatics plays a role. Like I told you, studying pragmatics means you need to be hashtag forever Susan. In order to interpret utterances pragmatically, we need to consider several things before we interpret the utterances. The speaker, the context, the speaker's intention, and regularity. The speaker is who is talking and to whom. Meanwhile, the context is divided into three categories, namely linguistic context, what preceded a particular utterance, situational context, what happens surrounding the utterance, and social context, information about relationship between speakers of people involved. The speaker's intention means the intended or hidden meaning of what the speaker explicitly states. 
Lastly, regularity is the fact that most people within a linguistic community have similar basic experiences of the world and share a lot of non-linguistic knowledge. I'm going to talk more about context in my podcast. Some of you might still be confused how to tell the difference between semantics and pragmatics, since both of them discuss meaning. Basically, semantics only studies words and their meanings in a language, but pragmatics studies words and their meaning in a language related to their context. Hence, pragmatics studies meanings which are contextually dependent. Another difference is that semantics studies literal meaning. Meanwhile, pragmatics studies the intended or inferred meaning as well. When you want to analyze interactions or communications, use pragmatic. Whoa, what a complicated explanation. My brain can't seem to handle much information. And that's why I think I need to end this video now. I hope you now understand what pragmatics is. Anyway, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Yuliani is out. Cheerio.